All right, Mike, a Hazel Park mother is demanding accountability after her son was killed in a wrong way crash from last year. The 26 year old was killed last August along I-75 near Clark in southwest Detroit when a drunk driver hit him. A celebration of his life is planned for Monday, one year from his passing. 7 News Detroit reporter Whitney Burney is raising the voice of the victim's mother who is pushing for the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office to hold someone responsible. It was right here along southbound I-75 that Kim Clanton says that driver struck her son head on, killing the 26 year old. As we get closer to the one year anniversary, she says it's more challenging to cope with with no one held accountable. With his picture and birthstone wrapped around her wrist. Your son was um, energetic and funny. He was so charming and witty. He was hilarious. He was good for a joke and I mean and quick. Kim Clinton's son Drasan is never far from her mind. One of the things that hurts the mo most is that I don't have anything left of him besides pictures and videos and I just I spend a lot of time here at home looking at pictures and videos and just wishing I could pick him up out of there. You know he's so lively and his personality shines through and I'm just like, I can't look at them enough because other than that, it's like he's fading. The 26 year old's life cut short last August when a drunk driver got on I-75 in the wrong direction and hit Drasane's car head on near Clark Avenue. Monday will mark one year since the crash and the 26 year old's family is still waiting for an arrest to be made. You cannot heal. It's very challenging and I don't, I look at everybody else because I'm stuck on August 26, 2023. Clanton says even her car, which her son was driving that night, is still in a tow lot as a part of the investigation. She spent the last year calling the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office asking for answers to no avail. And it wasn't until this week she was notified a prosecutor had even been assigned to the case. It's hard and every day it's torture because every day I wake up to the nightmare that he's gone and I'm not gonna talk to him. That's the first thing I realize every morning mm -hmm. is that my son is gone. I reached out to the prosecutor's office to ask why the case was dragging along. While they couldn't tell me more about the timeline of the investigation, a spokesperson says someone is reviewing the case. As the Clantons plan to celebrate Jersan's life this coming Monday at a vigil in Felker Park, they're praying they're one day closer to seeing someone held accountable. I want to know that my son is resting peacefully, that my spirit is resting that I've done everything that I can do for justice for my son, and I'm not going to stop. I'll never stop. In Hazel Park, Whitney Burney, 7 News Detroit. We certainly hope she gets some answers soon. Thank you, Whitney.